I think often it's just the atmosphere. It's just being able to walk to a lecture and see familiar faces on the way. It's a lot of time is built up by lectures, but you do have one-on-one -on -one workshops with PhD students that you can physically ask questions that you may not be able to in lectures. You have labs where you can apply uh, what you've done in a programming way and that really broadens it. And also in second year and a lot in third year, you do a lot of project work. So that's looking at LaTeX and our studio and MATLAB and things like that. There's a lot of sort of freedom. It's got a nice balance of sort of between lectures. There's a lot of sort of the studying in the workshops, that side of the learning as well. I think it's the sort of subject where you learn it by doing it yourself. A lot of people assume maths means finance when they think of applications, and that's definitely true, but it's never been something I've been interested in. So for me, I've done a lot of medical related modules. So for instance, in clinical trials, we're given some data. So they might be testing a new cancer drug against chemotherapy and you get all the data and you work out using your basic like hypothesis testing and things you've done in like first year stats to work out whether the drug is actually better, whether the doctors would want that result, like if it's better enough in the doctor's eyes for that to be useful and how that could be implemented uh, in the real world and this is what people are doing on a day-to-day -day basis at clinical trials units across the UK.